class this morning is going to be on food. Not sure if that part got cut off just there, but anyways, I'm starting. It's just probably one minute, maybe early, so um, people will start joining here in a minute. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about food. So we'll all have a chance to talk about the type of food that we really like and the type of food that we want to try maybe. There's lots of exotic foods out there that maybe you haven't even tried yet. I know when I was doing some research for this class there were lots of things that I have never tried. Um, some things that I would have to travel very far to find for sure. So um, it's going to be interesting to see who shows up to class this morning because my experience is we've had people from all around the world and so with such diversity um, we're gonna have a lot of different things to talk about I think so hi there <clears throat> welcome hi hi how are you how are you miss I'm doing well Mo Bye. Is it Mohammed is that correct did the I say topic today is very the, the topic to today is very interesting food yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, um, it's it. Where I am, I'm in Washington State right now, and so it's pretty early in the morning. It's eight a.m., and I actually haven't had any breakfast. So we'll see if I get hungry talking about all this food this morning. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm hungry right now. Oh no! <laughs> where where are you? What country Syria. are you? In? Oh, in Syria. I'm right now in Egypt. I'm from Syria. Oh. But I'm right now in Egypt. In in Egypt or India? Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Cairo. Oh, okay, Cairo. Wow, nice. Well, welcome. We're gonna um, let everybody get in here. I see some are just want to stay on the chat, and some people are joining the Google Hangouts. Hello, so. hello, Lisa. Hi. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Hello? Well, it's, it's morning for me. It's probably not morning for everybody. So in my country, is the evening now? It, it, yeah. It, it, it what time? We have eleven p.m. Yeah, in Egypt too. Yes. Yes. Well, welcome yeah. everybody. Today we're going to be talking about food, and um, you'll have lots of chance chances to uh, speak speak today because I'm going to be talking somewhat but I'm also going to be asking a lot of questions so um, it looks like some people might be trying to get into the class I'm gonna remind everybody how the verbling classes work because I know that there are lots of um, new students um, signing up on verbling every day hi um, so the way that the verbling class works is that I start the class and people start joining. If you want to join the class, then you just click on the green button that says join class. What happens though is that only nine people can actually join at one time. So if I have nine people in the class already and you see the people who are in the class down there uh, below, then the class says uh, full. This class is full. And so that means that you can watch it because it's being recorded and it'll be on YouTube and on Verblink later. Um, but if you can't get in, you can watch it and you can also um, post or write things in the chat. So if you want, you have a question when we start um, when we start talking, and if people are not in the class but they want to add something or ask a question, then you can do that in the chat. But it looks like we have. Um, people already in the class that's full so I'm gonna start the class now and the way I like to start the classes of course is to just have everybody quickly just introduce yourself and um, tell us where you are some you can tell us where you're from what country you're from originally and if you're in a different country right now you can tell us where you're living right now and also just help us um, say your name correctly because I noticed some of the names uh, are in even Russian and I don't speak Russian so I can't read that either <laughs> so you can help me so I'll start over here on the left um, Eloidi, is that how you say it? Yes, hi, hello. 
Hi, where Hi. are you? Um, I'm in France. English is that's it. You're in France. Great. Yes. Okay. And and how do you pronounce your name correctly? How do you say your name? English is that's it. Elodie. That's it. Elodie. Okay. Yes. You can ask for it. Yes. Yes. And also one of the things about um that I'll say about the class I forgot to mention is just um everybody can hear you. So if you want to, um, if you need to talk to somebody else or do something, or if, if your phone rings and you need to get it or something, you can just mute yourself. If you uh, click on your picture and just mute it, that way we can keep it quiet in the class so everybody can hear very well because it can get very confusing and um, noisy if um, we have a lot of noise in the background. Okay, so we have one person is from France today, and is it Mel? Mel? Melly? Guench. Melch? I didn't read Mel it. Yeah. Melch. Yes. It's Hi. Me. Hi. How are you? Thanks. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Turkey. Turkey. From Ankara. Okay. Yes. I'm oh, Ankara. Turkey. Yes. You know? Wonderful. Yes. I'm, I'm not very familiar with the geography or of Turkey, but I have spoken to many people from Turkey recently because uh, lots of people from Turkey are trying verbling. So yes, yeah, yes. it's been very good. <laughs> okay, the next person I see is is it Mert? How do you say your name? Hi. Can you hear me? Is it Mert? I can't hear you. Are you talking? Yes. Uh, are you talking with me? Yes. Uh, my, name's my name is uh, Demir. Uh, oh. I live uh, in Syria. Oh, Demir. Yes. I'm from Syria. You're from Syria. Okay. Yes. I was actually trying to get Mert to talk, but I don't know if his microphone is working. Is uh, it? My, my microphone is working, but I think uh, the problem is the speed. No, the I think... Speed of the Yes, your microphone is working. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, I think the problem is the uh, speed of my uh, internet. Line. Okay. You you actually are fine. I can hear you fine. Mohammed, hi there. Hi. You already, you already told me a little bit, but Looking why don't <laughs> yes? Why don't you tell us uh, where you you're from and where you're living right now? I'm Mohammed. I'm from Syria, and I'm living. Right now and right now in Egypt. Okay. Well, welcome. Hi, Nyun. Is that how you say it? Uh, hello. My name Ding. I am from Vietnam. From Vietnam. Yes. Say, say your name again. How do you say it? Uh, actually, my name, my first name is Ding. Ding. Ling yes. with it, like with an L. Yes. Okay. Great. Thank Hello, you. Um, Hi. Sir Lack. Is that how you say your name? Sir Lack? Sir Tack? Are you there? Hi. How do you say your name? Whoops. Is it Sir Tack? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. <laughs> Maybe the mic's not working. I'm going to go on to Tomoko. Tomoko, are you there? Uh, yes. Hi there. Um, hi there. <laughs> um, my name is Tomoko. I'm original from Japan. Mm -hmm. Then now I live in Switzerland, in Zurich. Oh, nice. Then, uh, can I ask you guys, my mic must be too loud, isn't it? It sounds okay to me. Yeah, oh, okay. It's, it's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you're fine. so you're originally from Japan but you are living in Switzerland right now. Yes. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. And hi there. I I don't know your name because it's in Russian. <laughs> How do you say your name? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Ira. Ira? Ira. Ira. And is that Russian or is it not? Ukrainian. I'm you, Ukrainian. Okay, Ukrainian. Great. Well, welcome. Let's see, I think I got everybody. We did a little introduction there. I think we have somebody new. Um, Jadner? Are you there? Jadner, Sierra. 
Okay, well, maybe some people like to come to class and um, they like to listen and watch and maybe not participate as much. But for those of you who came to class who want to participate, uh, we're going to start talking about food. And the first question yes, that I, that I wanted to, okay, great. The first question that I was thinking about was um, what is your favorite dish? What is your favorite dish? A dish is a, another way to say what is your favorite food. So somebody's favorite dish it's might be brothers. chicken or turkey or some, some kind of special um, dish that you have maybe at Christmas or a special holiday that you celebrate in your country. So I'm wondering if anybody would like to start, you can go ahead and answer the question. What is your favorite dish? Or what is your favorite food? May I start? Yes, go ahead. Thank you, Mohammed. My favorite dish is uh, I, lo I love I love I fond of barbecue. B barbecue? Yeah. What what do you like to eat barbecue? Are you are you going to eat now? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's All right. Bon appetit. Excuse me. <laughs> no. Is there a special dish that you like, or just barbecue in general, like anything barbecue? We have in Syria love sheep meat. Okay. Uh huh. That in um, in English we usually say lamb. We could lamb. say yeah. yeah, lamb, or if it's an older sheep. It's older than sometimes we say mutton. That's mutton. an old, older sheep. Lamb. Yeah. So you like I lamb? Lamb. lamb. Yeah. I, I like lamb too. It's, it's yummy. It's really delicious. delicious. Yes. <laughs> Is it? Um, what's the name of the dish? The name? Yeah. Is there a special dish or just lamb in general? No, no. No, just barbecue. Barbecue lamb. Okay, I'm gonna write it in the chat. So in in English we um, usually abbreviate barbecue just BBQ, and so he likes BBQ. barbecue lamb. BBQ. Yes, I like lamb. Barbecue lamb too. <laughs> so, um, is it Ling? I think I'm. I think I'm not pronouncing your name right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. What um what's your favorite dish? Do you have a favorite one? Uh well I my favorite food is um a noodle. Uh-huh. Noodle but but Okay. My 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 noodle. Noodles? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh but uh I I also like um sushi in mm. it uh, the pan is uh, yes. the sushi and yeah. sa sashimi. Uh huh. Sushi yeah. and sashimi. Yeah, yeah. I very, I very like. So, do you like to eat raw fish? Su uh, uh, sashimi. I I like uh, raw fish. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's yummy. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, thank you. I, I also like uh, sushi. It's very popular in the United States these days yeah. to go out and um, get sushi, but it is also pretty expensive in the United States. I don't know if it's expensive in Vietnam, but for example, if my kids love sushi, but if I take my kids out to dinner for sushi, I can easily spend one hundred dollars for dinner. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> oh. Yeah. In Vietnam, in, in not uh, in not very popular. Uh, if I want to eat sushi, I uh, on I go to a Japan restaurant. Yes. yes. It's yeah, very expensive. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Tomoko. Tomoko. Yes. Um, is is sushi also expensive in Japan? Yes, I think so. It depends on the restaurant it serves, which it serves. The sushi, yes. the mm -hmm. when, when we visit the, some, the nice, the gorgeous the sushi bar, it's yeah. pretty much expensive. We even can't, we even, uh, how can I say, we cannot even see the menu, just ask 
we want to eat this fish, this kind of fish, and uh, we have oh. a, we have a budget. Yeah, <laughs> kind of budget. So I totally, uh, totally, what can I say, trust the chef and the mm. producer of the sushi yes. menu, uh, the which which the chef recommend. Yes. Okay. So that that the gorgeous way, but uh, mostly, mostly we visit. Uh, some the sushi restaurant sort of was about to compare the lowering the sushi on the belt. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. also nice. That, that's really, uh, I say price bird. I don't say not cheap. It's not something not cheap, but uh, price yeah. bird. How can I say the cost effective? How can that's I say it's um? Oh, I could, I would say it's more affordable. Uh, more affordable. Yeah, yes. I love that. Then yes. Also, I actually love the Japanese type of a sushi, but uh, many countries arrange the sushi. For example, in United States, you have the sort of California roll. Yes. <laughs> it's also wonderful. It's unbelievable. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, recently, I saw a movie about a very famous Japanese chef from um, Japan called uh, Hiro, I think you say Hiro, uh, Dreams of Sushi. It was a documentary. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And, um, I never heard of that. <laughs> yes, he has um, a pretty popular um, sushi restaurant in Tokyo. And uh -huh. it's and it's kind of like what you say. He sets the menu every day, and you just uh -huh. have to go. And I think the menu is like eight hundred dollars, and you yeah. get uh, twenty yeah, pe more twenty pieces or something like that. Uh, and he yes. goes and he goes every day to um, to the fish markets to uh -huh. buy the fresh fish or shrimp or or whatever. So. Yes. Yeah, so it can be very expensive, but it's very good. <laughs> it's it's really yummy. It's really yummy. Yeah. Yeah. So, so so since I'm talking with you, Tomoko, is there um another type of food or a dish especially that you like? Yes, I have a lot. Um, but uh, one of them, uh, uh, it's it is called okonomiyaki. It is a sort of a pancake, but uh, not sweet. Huh? It's we. We put the can I say the meat or cabbage or whatever, and I put the sort of a little bit of sweet sauce, sort of a teriyaki sauce, and yeah, and it's like a pancake. Did you say Tomoko? Oh, I think we lost Tomoko somehow. Okay, hi there. I forgot your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's um, from Ukraine. Ira. Ira. Yes. Ira. Okay, I'm gonna write it down so I can remember. Ira. <laughs> um, what is your favorite dish or your favorite food? Uh, actually, I'm I'm really sweet too, so I like sweets very much. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. I I'm not keen on meat. I don't like meat. Mm -hmm. uh, I can eat my only fish, for example. But uh, also, I like sushi. Yeah. <laughs> so when you when you eat sushi, um, do you eat the fish, the raw fish type sushi, or more with vegetables? Uh, there's fish also, yes. Okay. So um, you just don't like meat. Is that right? Uh, not too much. Yes, not yeah. too much. Yeah. Okay. Is there some kind of special sweets in the Ukraine that uh, you like? All kinds. Chocolate, Chocolate. cake. Yes. yes. <laughs> Muffins, yeah. all kinds of sweets. Yeah. Great. Okay. Uh, Sertek, are you there? Can you hear me? Oh, you can't. Is your microphone not working? Okay, I'm going to move on and ask. You're here. Oh, you're here. Hi. Yeah, yeah. What um, is your favorite dish? What f type of food do you like? Favorite food. What kind? Uh, I put uh, chicken roll. Yeah? Chicken rolls? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that um, like Asian food? 
Is it? Is it? It's like what kind of role? It's like young Putin, I think. You you know what he's talking about? What kind of role? I I am thinking that it's like junk food maybe McDonald's. Oh, oh chicken roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And and Mert, are you there now? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Yes, I can Hi. hear you now. Welcome. It's a little Thank bit you. bit loud. Um. So where are you? Where are you from? I I am from Turkey. Oh, from Turkey. Okay. Good. Yes. And. Do you have a special type of food that you like or a dish that you like? Uh, yes, I like beef. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like fish. No fish, okay. Yes. And, uh, and I like Turkish uh, dish. Uh huh. And yeah, that's. Would you like, is there, um, do you also eat lamb? Yes, of course. I. In Turkey, we, we love it. <laughs> <laughs> Those yeah. Turkish people like eating meat. Yeah, yeah. So, so meat is a big part of the Turkish diet. Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay, great. So, um, Elodie, are you still there? Yes, yes, I'm Hi. here. What What type of food do you like? What's your favorite dish? Uh, um, I like uh, a lot of a lot of uh, dishes. Mm-hmm. Can you share with us one of them that you like? Can you tell us about one of them that you like? Can you hear me? Uh, I didn't hear you. I can hear yes. you now. Yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, uh, traditional <laughs> uh, dishes in France is uh, cheese. Cheese, lot of okay. <laughs> lot of sort of cheese. Um, it, I I love that, I love yeah. that and foreign dishes also, a um, uh -huh. lot of um, food, uh, Italian food, mm. uh, African food, uh, yes. uh, sushi also. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Is sushi also popular in France now? Yes, also it's very popular because uh, a lot of Chinese restaurants are, mm -hmm. are closed. Uh, because bad reputation of cooking and uh, all the <laughs> Chinese people replace um, Chinese restaurants by Japan restaurants. So we have got a lot of uh, sushi restaurants in Japan and restaurants in Paris. Yes. Oh, oh, are you living in Paris? Uh, just near from Paris, yes. Oh, okay, yes. I bet in Paris you have lots of choices, lots of yes. different restaurants yes. for different types of food yes yes, um, yes um, I went to New York New York City about two years ago and that was very wonderful because like every block you go like you turn on one street and maybe that whole block there's like Indian food restaurants yeah. and they're all really good Indian food and then the next block there might be like Brazilian food, and then mm. another block. There's um, Italian food, so that was very awesome. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. they have. Mohammed, did you want to share? I, I said there's no no Syrian food. I didn't hear you. There's no what? Syrian food, Syrian food. Syrian food. I I am not familiar with Syrian food. What is what is the type of food that um that people eat in Syria that that would be like in a Syrian food restaurant? What kind of food would that be? Mohammed? Yeah, yeah. It do you do you know what that would be? Is it is it quite different from other types of food? Syrian it's food. It's very delicious. Yeah. It's completely different. Oh, does it use um, a lot of lamb and spices? Is it pretty um, big on the spices or not so spicy? I don't. I don't name these these uh, foods in English. Oh. These names names the food in English. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe. Go ahead. The names in Arabic. Yes, of course. <laughs> well. Um, 
What types of well, maybe I'm imagining you said lamb before, so I'm I know there's some dishes like with lamb and vegetables probably. What type of yeah, um yeah. what every country seems to have different types of what we what we call um starches. I wrote it in the chat. It's starches or carbo carbohydrates and in like for example in the United States we eat a lot of bread. And I know in Asian countries, like with the sushi and stuff, there's rice. In yeah. Syria, in Syria, do you eat bread, like wheat bread, or do you eat rice, or what type of starches do you eat? We have bread. We have bread. Oh, okay. Bread rolls. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have a question. You you yes. say uh, you have got a lot of bread in starter. You you eat bread. In starter or with your dishes? Um, yes, from what the way I understand, um, if it's if we're comparing to like France, I I would think that most American people do not eat very formal meals, so we don't start with the bread, but um, we just eat bread at breakfast, maybe like toast. So yes. in yes. in the morning we have toast, maybe with some jam and eggs maybe and then in the afternoon people like to eat um, sandwiches okay. and so if you eat sandwiches you use bread with a sandwich and then at nighttime also some people they might eat um, a piece of bread with their dinner or maybe if you're eating pasta or something like that okay yeah okay, so thank you. Uh, yeah and we it's, it's not so typical in the United States, especially if you live in, you know, depending on where you live, to have really nice bread like you have in France. <laughs> in France, there's all kinds of really nice um, bakeries and and shops, but you yeah. can get a you can get a lot of nice um, bakeries and shops if you live in the bigger cities like you know San Francisco, New York, of course, uh, Chicago, Atlanta, Seattle. But smaller towns don't have too much the tradition of making a lot of different types of breads. So okay. it's mostly just go to a big store and buy bread at the big. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, let's see. Are you there, um, Meli? Meli? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. What type of food do you like? Um, you know, we are from uh, Turkey, and uh, we like to eat. A uh, lamb. Lamb too. Yeah. In, in yeah. Turkey. We have a, a traditional uh, meal, uh, kebab, you know. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, generally, in Turkish uh, restaurant, you can uh, find this meal. Mm. Uh, and another, maybe, uh, different uh, dessert we have. Yeah. Yes. And. Uh, I live in uh, border Syria. Maybe, oh. uh, maybe Syrian people is said we have a, a traditional meal. Maybe it is maybe it is named hummus. I, uh, oh yeah, hummus. Yeah, uh, I love that. I love yeah. that. I, I love that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so yummy. Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, it is made from nuts, I think. Um, I think hummus is made with um, garbanzo beans, is what we call them. What? I, I wrote it in the chat. We call um, a pushy show. Yeah, garbanzo beans or um, chickpeas, and yes. that's that's what hummus is made of. Yes, hummus hummus is a very um, popular. We we use it here in the United States to dip things. To dip. So yep. if I, if I have carrots, maybe I have yeah. little little pieces of carrots. Um, I might dip that into um, hummus or maybe red pepper. Yes, vegetables. Yeah. yeah. Do you do that also there? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. So, um, did everybody get a chance to talk? Let me see here. Uh, okay. Yes. I I still haven't heard from Jadner. I don't know if you're there. Are you there, Jadner? Hello. Okay. Nope, not there. 
Okay, so it sounds like um, everybody has some favorite dishes and their sweets or their fish or sushi or it sounds like lamb is very popular. Lamb actually is not very popular in the United States. Of course, people like lamb and you can buy lamb, but what's more popular in the United States would be um, chicken. So lots of different dishes with chicken, barbecue chicken and chicken wings and and um, baked chicken, chicken with lemon or pepper, stuff like that. Chicken roll. Yeah, <laughs> chicken rolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, chicken nuggets. If you go to McDonald's, um, I don't go to McDonald's, but if you like to go to McDonald's, lots of kids like to eat chicken nuggets. They're little, little pieces of chicken that are um, fried. Yeah. So um, now, I'm, now I'm wondering... I was wanting to. I, this is the exciting part. Is I want to know what is the um, the strangest food that you've ever eaten, like the craziest food or the most. Sometimes we say the word exotic. That means um, that means it's just different from what we're used to. So if something is exotic to me, it might be that I've never tried it before, and it seems very different from what I'm used to eating. But it might be normal for you. So I'm wondering if you will share with us something that you've eaten that was different for you and that seemed exotic. So I'll give you um, an example for, for people like me in the United States, eating something like frog's legs. Like here it's popular to go oh. to the, um, the Chinese Run. buffet. Yeah, and so if you go to the Chinese buffet, that means you there's um, all kinds of food put out there, and you get your plate, and you get to go choose what food you want. That's a buffet. And at the Chinese buffet, there's lots of different types of foods that Americans don't usually make in their own homes. So one of those is frog's legs. You, I'm going to write it in the chat. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> is that delicious? Um, I I didn't eat it. My son ate it, and he said it tasted like chicken. <laughs> yes. Uh, in in France, we 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 eat uh, frog legs and uh -huh. and um worst uh, like snail. Snail. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I I actually um did eat snails before that um because for about ten years I was a vegetarian. And so that means I didn't eat any meat or any fish. Yeah. yeah. And um, then I decided that I should eat, start eating meat again. And one of the things um, at the time, my husband, he was a gardener. And so in the garden, we had lots of snails. And so, and so he, he decided that we were going to eat snails because uh, they, were, they were small. And so he, he took the snails and he, you have to put them in cornmeal first and they eat the cornmeal and that cleans them out and then yeah. you just you just saute okay. them yeah you put them in a pan and you fry them or saute them with butter and garlic garlic yes yes yeah and, and parsley yes uh huh and parsley um, and maybe a little wine if you want and it was yummy it was good oh really yeah, I thought, I thought it was good. So it, it's good, but the, the worst experience for me is, is in the south of, south of France. Uh -huh. um, there is a speciality with, with snake, which is with really strange because um, they keep the snake, they keep snakes in box uh, during uh, 20 days. Uh -huh. they, they, they give um, some, some of herbs, I don't know the name. Um, like person only to, to the snake. A snail hits this sort of uh, spices uh -huh. and they keep snake uh, alive oh, on, uh -huh. the, on, the, on the barbecue. Oh, oh on the barbecue? <laughs> yes, and wow. the snail uh, made a lot of bubble. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, after you you put the snail on on bread <laughs> with with garlic with butter. Yeah. But it's it's really difficult because um, uh, I have to go. I have to be p p 
polite because uh, it's <laughs> traditional and uh, it's very, very. <laughs> it's my worst experience with Spain. <laughs> yes, if um, in the United States we have a phrase if you're talking about something that you're like queasy about and you don't like it, you can say um, it grossed me out. Have you heard that before? It grossed, it grossed me. Could you, yeah. Could you repeat, please? Yeah, it grossed me out, or it grosses me out. That means it that me out. Means, okay. Like means you don't like the, the food. Yeah, that means like uh, you like are just getting sick just thinking about eating it. You know, you look yeah. at it and you go, "Oh, that's so gross." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I was watching a TV program. No, one of my um. On Facebook, I have some friends from uh, different parts of the world, and one of them was from Vietnam, actually. And he told me to watch this um, video because he told me that uh, in Vietnam, it's um, considered healthy to eat the heart of a snake. And oh. so he sent me a video of, uh, uh, I think, a British man who was, tra he's a chef, and he was traveling to Vietnam to try the different types of food that Vietnam has, but more like the, 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 the not-so-normal foods that people eat. And so he went to a restaurant with several other uh, people from Vietnam, and they were eating all the, like, the most uh, unusual things they could find. And, and one of them was the, the um, snake heart, the, heart, the little heart of the snake. So the guy in the restaurant killed the snake right in front of him, and then prepared various things from the snake. So one of them was the heart, and then I think some other parts. And and then they fried up the the spine, the bones of the snake, or some other thing. I don't remember, <laughs> but that was crazy. <laughs> have, is, okay. Have you seen that? I have a I have an experience right okay. there. Okay. Okay. Um, Tell me. Um, okay. Um, I when I visit to the visit to the Sardinia in Italy. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I my family visit uh sort of real tourism, the sort of farmers restaurant. Uh-huh. Uh, they serve the really, really special local food to tourists. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed we enjoyed a lot there. But mm -hmm. I, I eat I eat um I'm gonna say why do pig brain. Oh. Pig brains, yeah. Pig brain. <laughs> no, at the time, I didn't know that. I didn't know this. That is, that is a pig brain. Uh, wild pig brain, not pig. Wild oh, pig. Like a wild so, boar, maybe? Is it wild boar? No, wild wild, wild pig. Okay, wild pig. Yeah. So, wild wow. pig. So I, I thought I should, I should not, I should not eat in that. So. <laughs> but, I, but it was so yummy. It was so yummy. Uh, it tasted good. You liked it. Yeah, it's sort of like uh, how can I say tofu? Oh, tofu meat uh, in between tofu and the cheese or something like that. It yeah. was so tasty, but uh, yeah, it makes me glow. So how it it grosses it, you out? <laughs> uh, go grows me out. It yeah. grows me out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, yeah, and um, Dean. Yes. Do, do, is it true that in Vietnam, uh, some people like to eat the heart of a snake? Is that true? Uh, do you know about that? I know, but uh, it's not popular in Vietnam. No, no <laughs> but, I don't think it's popular, but some people say but, it's healthy. <laughs> uh, but uh, in the north of Vietnam, mm -hmm. yes, uh, a lot of uh, some restaurant have a a, a, sna a snail. Snails, Snack. yeah. Uh huh. Uh, yet, yet. Uh, we can. Uh, you know, you know, blood, blood, the blood, blood. blood. Uh huh. Blood. Uh, mix with uh, uh wine. Uh huh. And after that, the ring, the ring. Drink it. Okay, so blood mixed with wine, and that's a drink. Yeah. That you, like in Vietnam. Okay. Yeah. Does it taste good? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And up, uh, we can 
um, barbecue, barbecue snake. Oh, barbecue the snake, yeah. 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 Do, does the snake but, meat taste like chicken? <laughs> but yeah, the first time I eat the uh, snail, uh -huh. it uh, greet, it creeps me, me to, it creeps me out. It creeped yeah. you out. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing you can say. It creeped me out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it can be yeah, yeah scary yeah. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Yes. Some yeah. sometimes um in the United States, unfortunately, a lot of children they grow up and they're not very adventurous with their food. Let me write that in the chat. Adventurous. They like to just eat um, pasta and bread and pizza and hamburgers and ice cream, but they are very um, scared, you could say, sometimes to try new things. And a lot of times um, you, you don't try new things maybe until you're an adult or if you start to travel more and you see that other people have all different um, ways of eating and you might might try them but I noticed that in the United States kids are sometimes afraid to try um, some of the things like that they don't ever see so they're not used to seeing um, certain types of fish maybe or octopus or calamari or things like that so it's a it's good to take the younger kids I think out to restaurants like the Asian restaurants a lot or Indian restaurants or um, Mexican restaurants to give them different um, opportunities to try new foods. So does anybody um, want to share with us? I know we have somebody new. Mark? Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi how, are you? how are you? Thank you. I'm good. Where, and where are you? Uh, I'm from Serbia. Serbia. Okay. Yeah. Hey, and we were talking about what kinds of food um, that we like. What kind of food do you like in Serbia? Uh, in Serbia, uh, it is a popular beef and um, mm. uh, uh, pork. It's uh, mostly popular, but uh, I like the most. I like uh, fish and uh, seafood the most. Okay. Yeah. Do you like um, Do you like sushi? We were talking about sushi before. Um, Have you had I, might, I must say that uh, I never uh, did try it, but uh, I heard from my friends that uh, it's uh, it's uh, very uh, delicious. If um, if um, you want to try it, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we a lot of us agreed that it's very yummy, but it's very mm -hmm. expensive. <laughs> yes. And I'm wondering, um, is fish popular in Serbia? Do many uh, people like fish? No, 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 not so many like as uh, beef or pork meat. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and do you um, go fishing yourself, or do you just buy it at the market? Uh, I I so sometimes go fishing, but uh, to be honest, I never did uh, catch uh, <laughs> any fish. Yeah. But uh, but it, it is good uh, for um, for um, rest, L yeah. like uh, like to a relax. hobby. Yeah. Yes. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Relax with an X. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's very relaxing to go fishing, even if you don't catch your dinner. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good. I think we have some um, new people here. Um, Farouk, are you there? Farouk? No, I don't hear him. And uh, where we go? I am here. I'm here. Sorry, Lisa. Ah. Hi there. Uh, I'm. I'm all right, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. <coughs> where Where are you? I am in the Turkey, in Istanbul. Oh, yeah. Okay. And and what's your favorite dish in Turkey? What kind of food do you like to eat? Uh, I love the kebab, any kind of chicken, you know, uh -huh. lamb. <laughs> Usually, I, my favorite food is kebab, you know, like a gyro. What is it? Like a gyro. Oh yeah, 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 gyro. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. You, you United States, you call it like a gyro, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we either say gyro or gyro. I think you say both. So, sometimes we don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> what oh, yeah. is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hi Douglas. 
Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Wh where are you? I'm in my room. <laughs> I'm from Brazil. Oh, hi. What, what kind of food do you like to eat in Brazil? What's your favorite dish? My favorite dish is sushi. Oh, yes. I really love Japanese food. Uh-huh, yes. It seems to be pretty popular around the world. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to it's nice to um, eat something like oh, one piece at a time, and it's, you can just put it in your mouth, and it's a fun way to eat. I think. I think another thing that's popular why why sushi is popular is because you get to go to the sushi bar and you get to choose, so you get to see it, and then you can just take it off in a lot of sushi bars. That, at least in the United States, that's how they do the sushi bars, some of them. Yes. Okay. So we were talking also about, like, the strangest food you've ever eaten, and I haven't heard from some people. So does anybody want to tell us um, about a time where they ate something that was new for them and was kind of strange, and maybe it kind of grossed you out or creeped you out or something like that? What is the strangest food that you've ever eaten? Douglas, is there? Have you ever eaten anything really strange to you? I think I didn't. No. Uh, but I probably will eat something very strange next year because I'm going to India. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great. What What do you think might be strange? Because sometimes. Uh, people think uh, certain types of animals are strange to eat. So if some people aren't used to eating. Um, a lot of people are used to eating chicken or beef or lamb, but some people aren't used to eating things like um, snakes or even monkeys. And also, I know that they some in some places they even eat uh, cats and dogs. Have you heard about that too? Yes. Yeah. In Asia. Yes. Yeah, I think in some Asian countries, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And but but sometimes um, new food doesn't have to be just the animals. Sometimes the animals are the ones that are kind of scary to us because we're not familiar. But also, there's different types of fruits. Do people know about the durian fruit? Hot dogs. <laughs> Somebody wrote hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Is a hot dog a scary food? <laughs> hot dogs. Yeah. Hot dog. Do you, does everybody know what a hot dog is? No. I know. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. A hot dog is Jungle. like it's a, a sausage. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in the United States, it's very popular to eat hot dogs, like at birthday parties or if you have a party and you have a barbecue. And you throw the hot dog on the barbecue, and it's also popular to eat a hot dog around a campfire. So if you like to go camping, you go out to the woods or, or by the beach or something, and you have a fire, and you put the hot dog on the end of a stick, and you cook it like that. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's more popular um, in other countries to have sausages, not necessarily hot dogs. Yeah. But yeah, here in the United States we have hot dogs. They make them with beef, uh, turkey, and chicken. You can buy chicken hot dogs now. Yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering. Sorry. Yes. Sorry, can I share your uh, things? Yes, please do. Uh, I didn't taste, but uh, I watched in a video. Uh huh. Uh, Chinese people is uh, eating. Mm -hmm. Soap is uh, making from fetus, you know, in uh, baby don't burn. It's very different. You yeah. can find you can find in the plate uh, of uh, soap, finger maybe. No, uh -huh. it's, it's very scared. I'm very scared of this. So I didn't understand. You said that in China they eat what? What is it that you think they eat? This kind of uh, soup, you know? A soup? Oh, yeah, soup, sorry. Uh -huh. Yes, a soup. Soup is, soup is making from cactus. Oh, from cactus? Cactus. 
Babies don't born in pregnant maybe. Oh. Early, early early born babies. Fetus. Making from fetus, yes. Yes, yes. It's, yeah, it's very uh, scared. From a human fetus? Yes, yes I, yes, I yes. read about two. You did? I never heard about that. Yeah, I want to ask from Japan people. <laughs> Is it true or not? I, I think Tomoko left. She's gone out of the, out of the video, so I think she was having problems with her microphone. I, maybe. I think the, uh, the, that, that was in China, not in uh, Japan. Yeah, yes, she, yes, she might China. not know. Yeah. yeah yes. 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 Yes, I think um, there's the food all around the world is very interesting because, of course, there's all different types of animals, and some people you know you definitely need to have some type of protein so we talk about protein and usually you most people like to get protein from animals so that might be anything um, I think I had a picture oh yeah let's see what was it I know that um, I saw this I was looking on the internet and I saw I'm gonna share it with you here maybe if I can um, this is probably comes from the countries that are uh, like, um, whoops, can you see what it says? It says reindeer meat. Does anybody know what reindeer is? <laughs> reindeer pate. <laughs> reindeer pate. Pate, we say pate, I think it's French, it's French, right? Yes, yes, it's French. Yes, yeah. Pate, yes. Yes, of course. But reindeer, what, what is it? Reindeer. Uh, reindeer is, um, okay, do you know Santa Claus? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The reindeer. He has reindeer. Yeah. So it's reindeer. They actually have reindeer up, um, I think, in countries like Sweden and Norway, up in the north where it's very cold, cold weather. And these are animals that um, you can eat, too. Also in the United States, we eat, um, some people eat deer, and we call it venison. Have you heard about that, deer? Venison. I think other countries eat venison too. Our moose, sometimes moose, people hunt for moose or for elk. And those are very big animals. Yes. Douglas, did you, Douglas, you wrote in the chat about dog, dog meat. No meat. Is that true? In, um, in Brazil, you can buy dog meat? No, you can't buy, but they were selling it. They oh. are arrested now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that, that can happen sometimes um, in the United States, too, because some other cultures have um, different traditions, and so they, they might eat types of food that, in the United States, they, um, we consider those animals pets. Yeah. So, so for example, I know that um, there are some people who come from other countries and they maybe they want to eat a dog or some other type of animal like a, a llama. You guys know what a llama is? Yeah. And, um, and they have been told by the police that they can't do that because um, we don't. Americans, I guess, think that those are for pets and they're not for eating. So in some, it's really different in every different country. I know that um, some people who, I think they went to um, Peru, maybe? And in Peru, they um, have guinea pigs and they like to eat the guinea pigs. Do you know what guinea pigs are? They're kind of like a, Small kind rat. of like a rat, but mm. they're bigger and they're kind of cute. And some people have them for pets. So in the United States, if you say, you know, you're going to eat guinea pig, some people will be very sad. No, don't eat the guinea pigs. They're so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. What, yeah. What is that guinea pigs? Can you type it, please? Yeah, the guinea, I typed it over here. It's guinea pigs over there. They're, um, let me see. I can get a picture probably. Let's see. Only in Peru? They, they, are, they are eating guinea pigs? Maybe other places, I don't know. But um, yeah. it's kind of, it, it seems like a practical 
kind of thing because um, I you can little, sweet little, right? Yes, little, and you Will. can uh, you can grow it in your house. Did, yeah. did you try it? I mean, no. have you ever eaten? No, I, I didn't I didn't eat it. So you see that that's a guinea pig right there. Can you see that? Yep. Yep. <laughs> They're kinda cute. I don't know, it doesn't seem like there's much meat. Not much meat on a guinea pig. <laughs> hmm. But but then again, if people eat frog legs, that's there's not much meat, but it maybe it tastes yummy. <laughs> yeah. So hi there, Erdin. Hi. Where are you? Where are you from? I think your mic's not on. I can't hear you. Are you going to type it? Okay. <laughs> Douglas. I'll go to Douglas first. Douglas. In Brazil, is it popular to um, eat a lot of fish? Yes, it is. Um, here in Brazil, we have a lot of rivers, and much, much, not much, many people. Yeah. Oops. I think your mic went off. Okay, try again. Many I'm people. Sorry. What? It's okay. <laughs> many people like fishing. Yeah. And um, we fish and eat what we get. And we have some places that we can. Uh, I I don't know if you can say cultivate fishes. It's yes, not, uh, we say farm fish, uh, uh, fish farming. Um, yeah. They do fish farming for people who like to fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we go there, we fish, uh, and buy what we caught. Yeah. Yeah. So that's interesting because um, in talking about eating food, it used to be that um, people had to make their own food. So you had to either be a farmer and maybe you, you um, grew your own crops or raised animals, you raised your own animals, or maybe you went fishing. So I'm wondering here it, with the students, have you ever um, killed an animal before that you were going to eat, like a chicken or a lamb or something like that? Because I have. I ha when I was a vegetarian, after, after being a vegetarian, um, when we started to eat meat again, we thought, well, we should kill our own meat and we should raise our own meat. So I've actually killed uh, chickens before myself and also... Um, I didn't kill them, but we had them butchered on our property, a uh, cow, we had a cow, a beef cow, and also some lamb. Has anybody here um, actually ever killed a chicken or anything like that? No. Mark? No. no. <laughs> I, I don't have a heart for it. No? <laughs> uh, yes, it's interesting to think about because that's how people had to live a long time ago, but now... Um, you can have a butcher do it for you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the butcher or go to the supermarket. Yes, yeah, somebody might in the yeah. chat at the supermarket. So now it's very. Um, in fact, some people like kids. They don't even really know where the food comes from because they just go to the store and it's right there, and they don't necessarily even know that it was a cow or a chicken or a lamb, yeah. especially. Yes. So, yeah. hey, Aloide. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if the pâtés are, are popular still in France. Is that something that a lot of people like to eat still? Uh, what? Can you repeat, please? Yes. Um, is um, eating pâté still popular? Yes, yes. yes. Is that is that a traditional thing to eat at Christmas time, like a foie gras? Um, it's different uh, from foie gras. Uh, foie gras is Mm. Really traditional meat uh, for Christmas Day, yeah. uh, but pate it's a little bit different because foie gras is uh, famous. Uh, uh, it's a little bit expensive, but pate you you can you can find pate in every um, uh, little shop uh, like butcher uh, uh -huh. and in 
big market, uh, and you can you can find pate with the uh, uh, oh, uh, like a chicken. I don't know. Oh yeah, like chicken duck, lived duck, uh, uh -huh. duck, pate of duck, pate of pig, um, or mix. Um, oh yes. Yes, a lot of different sorts. And is it um is the pate made from the liver? Is that how you make? Uh, yes, yes, for oh. we, yes, yes. My my mother made that because uh, my f my father um uh, go to hmm what's the name when uh, a guy who hunt duck and liver and and I oh, don't okay. know. Okay. Uh, he went to uh, a, to somebody who hunts animals. Yes. Okay, a hunter. Yeah. Hunter, yes, yeah. yes. My my father is a hunter, and okay. so my my mother cooked after with uh, animals. <laughs> oh, great! What yes. what kinds of animals does he hunt? What what kind of uh, animals? A duck, uh -huh. uh, um, sp special birds, but I don't know the name in in English. Sure. Uh, so he. Yes. He uh oh that's interesting. So he has to hunt and they fly in the air probably and then he shoots them out of the air. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. H hunting um is pretty popular for some people in the United States and the people like to hunt um deer is a big popular um animal to hunt. And that and that's a pretty good animal to hunt because you get a lot of meat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So and but we call it venison when you eat it, just like there's cows. But if you eat them, then you call that meat beef. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Also, um, we're just about out of time here, so I guess we're done. Um, thank you everybody for joining us. I hope that you were able to get some practice with your English, and for the people who were watching, I hope you learned some some new words perhaps about food and how to talk about food and. Especially, it's always interesting to try new foods, and maybe even if you're grossed out and you think it's so <laughs> gross looking and disgusting, you might just give it a try because some people love it, you know. So thank you, thank you, thank you, bye bye, bye bye. Thank you, Lisa, thank you for teaching. You're welcome. Thank you very much for coming. I'll see you guys again. Bye bye. bye.